how an Israelite city could actually be built. A city for Hebrew Israelites. A city for the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Preferably the tribe of Yehuda, the chosen tribe. Now I know this is an undertaking that is massive and needs wise and careful planning, coordination and resources. But anything is possible when there is unity and collective action. When that happens, we recreate our God, Yahweh, and His power within the midst of it all. The first thing that it would require is a feasibility study. Conduct a feasibility study to assess the viability and potential challenges of building a new city. This includes analyzing factors such as location, land availability, infrastructure needs, market demand, environmental impact, and regulatory requirements. With land acquisition, we have to secure land for the new city's development through purchase, negotiation, or government allocation. We have to consider factors such as proximity to transportation networks, natural resources, and amenities. There has to be urban planning and design. We have to work with urban planners, architects, and engineers to design the layout and infrastructure of this new city. This includes determining zoning regulations, land use patterns, transportation networks, public spaces, utilities, and environmental considerations. There has to be infrastructure development. We have to build essential infrastructure such as roads, bridges, utilities, water, sewer, electricity, telecommunications, and public transportation systems to support the city's growth and development. After infrastructure development, there needs to be housing and real estate development. Development of residential communities, commercial complexes, and industrial areas to accommodate the city's population and economic needs. This includes building housing units, commercial buildings, office spaces, retail centers, and industrial parks. There needs to be public services and amenities. We have to establish public services such as schools, health care facilities, police and fire stations, parks, libraries, and community centers to enhance the quality of life for residents and promote community well-being. Then there's economic development. We have to foster economic growth and job creation through the development of business districts, employment centers, and economic incentives for investment and entrepreneurship. There has to be economic empowerment as well. Develop economic initiatives that prioritize Black-owned businesses, cooperatives, and entrepreneurship. Provide access to affordable housing, job training programs, and financial resources to support this economic mobility and wealth creation within this community. The most important aspect of this city is education and youth development. We have to establish high quality schools, educational programs, and mentorship opportunities that promote academic excellence, cultural pride, and leadership development among these Israelite youth. We have to invest in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Education to prepare students for success in the modern workforce. Environmental sustainability. We have to incorporate sustainable urban planning and environmental policies to minimize the city's impact on the environment and promote long-term sustainability. This includes measures such as green spaces, renewable energy, waste management, and pollution control. There has to be government and governance. We have to establish a system of governance, including local government structures, regulations, and administrative processes to manage the city's affairs, provide public services, and ensure accountability and transparency. Community engagement. 
We have to engage with residents, community organizations, businesses, and other stakeholders throughout the planning and development process to ensure that this new city reflects the needs, preferences, and aspirations of its diverse population, its neighbors. Building this new city requires collaboration, innovation, and long-term vision to create a thriving, sustainable, and inclusive urban environment that meets the needs of its residents now and in the future. It is a complex and multifaceted endeavor that requires careful consideration of social, economic, environmental, and cultural factors to succeed.